The Washington Post is reporting that according to leaked documents, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has privately told NATO officials Canada will never meet its NATO defense spending targets. That revelation was contained in a leaked secret Pentagon assessment obtained by the Washington Post. Global News has been unable to verify it. Our Ottawa Bureau Chief Mercedes Stevenson is with me. Mercedes, Canada hasn't met the 2% of GDP target for NATO funding for more than, I think, 20 years. But to say we'll never meet it, is that just widely accepted? now? Well, and Donna, it's remarkable because it's a departure from the government's public stance on this. And I thought back to when President Joe Biden was here, and I checked the press release to make sure I wasn't imagining this. Sure enough, in there, there is a reference to Canada and the United States taking the Wales Pledge seriously. That is the pledge to spend 2% as per NATO's requirements. And yet what we're hearing now is that the Prime Minister may be seeing something very different behind closed doors. He was asked whether or not he told NATO Canada will not get to 2% earlier today. This is what he said. I continue to say and will always say that Canada is a reliable partner to NATO, a reliable partner around the world. And uh, with our military investments, with the support we give to Canadians, we will uh, continue to be doing that. Uh, Donna, a reliable partner is not, yes, we will get to 2%. And interestingly, when I spoke to senior government sources, there was no sense to me that they were striving for that. They're citing current defense investments in things like planes and ships. But experts say that that's the absolute minimum required for Canada to be able to maintain its sovereignty. So this goes into a long list of questions for the government about how much they're actually willing to spend on defense. All right, Mercedes Stevenson in Ottawa, thanks.